Hello friends, welcome to GT Science Tutorial. In this video, I'm going to explain about state of a system, state variables and state functions. These are some of the important terms used in thermodynamics and to understand thermodynamics, we need to have little concept about these terms as well. So in this video, we are going to understand what these terms actually mean along with some examples. So let's start. First of all, let's understand what state of a system actually mean. State of a system is the condition of a system which is described by certain properties. Let me write that. State of a system is the condition is the condition of the system which is which is described by certain properties. So, state of a system is the condition of the system which is described by certain properties such as such as temperature, pressure, volume, etc. So, these are some of the properties that has to be provided in order to tell the state of a system. Let me tell an example. Suppose I say water. What did you understand by water? Like you can imagine water, but can we know the state of that as water exists in three states, right? Uh, ice, water, liquid water and vapor. So what is the state of that water? Can we understand that? No. But what if I say there is a beaker, there is a beaker in which there is 20 ml of water whose temperature is maintained to be 25 degrees Celsius and the pressure applied is 1 atm that means 20 ml of water at 25 degrees Celsius in one atmospheric pressure condition is given then this describes the complete state of the system now we can imagine what we are talking about there is water at one atmospheric pressure temperature uh, whose volume is 20 ml and which is maintained at 25 degrees Celsius. So this is the condition that is provided with all the properties. So this is the state of a system. Now the state is completely defined. Are you getting me? So just by saying water, we cannot imagine what we are talking about. But if we have all the properties of it provided, then we can imagine what we are thinking of. So this is the state of um, this is the this is called the state of the system okay so state of a system is the condition of the system which is described by certain properties such as temperature pressure volume when temperature pressure and volume is provided then we know that this is the state of that system now state of a system depends on these variables or these properties so these properties that is temperature pressure and volume are called state variables state variables okay the properties on which the state depends are called uh, state variables so here in this particular case temperature pressure and volume are the state variables so whatever things are provided that is the state variable. Now, the state might change. Look at here. See, state variables have a property that means if you change one of the state variables, then other state variables will change automatically. Look at here. Suppose to this beaker's water, we are doing one experiment. We are putting the pressure constant. We are putting the pressure constant. Now, we are Increase the increase sorry increasing the temperature to 100 degrees Celsius. Now the temperature of this water increased to 100 degrees Celsius. That means we are increasing the temperature over here. Then what will happen to the volume? Look at here as this is water. If we have taken water as the consideration, so if the temperature exceeds 100 degrees Celsius, it will convert to vapor, right? So it will now convert to a vapor. The system 
इज नाउ अ वेपर राइट एंड इट्स वॉल्यूम ऑब्वियसली इंक्रीजेज एज टेम्परेचर हैज बीन इंक्रीज वॉल्यूम विल ऑल्सो इंक्रीज एंड दिस इज एनदर स्टेट ओके दिस इज एनदर स्टेट ऑफ द सिस्टम बिकॉज हियर ऑल्सो वी नो वट इज द प्रेशर वट इज द वॉल्यूम वट इज द टेम्परेचर सो दीज आर द नोन वेरिएबल्स दैट्स वाई इट इज ऑल्सो स्टेट राइट सो दिस इज द इनिशियल स्टेट दिस इज द इनिशियल स्टेट एंड दिस इज द फाइनल स्टेट राइट दिस इज द फाइनल स्टेट ऑफ द सिस्टम नाउ हियर वट डू वी सी इफ टेम्परेचर इज बींग चेंज वॉल्यूम इज ऑल्सो चेंजिंग दैट मीन्स इफ वन ऑफ द स्टेट वेरिएबल चेंजेज देन एनदर स्टेट वेरिएबल विल ऑटोमेटिकली चेंज एलॉन्ग विथ इट दैट दैट्स वॉट स्टेट वेरिएबल्स एक्चुअली आर एंड स्टेट वेरिएबल्स आर द बेसिक फंडामेंटल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ स्टेट ऑफ अ सिस्टम दैट मीन्स टू डिफाइन अ सिस्टम कंप्लीटली वी नीड स्टेट वेरिएबल्स सो ऑल द प्रॉपर्टीज दैट डिफाइन अ सिस्टम आर कॉल्ड स्टेट वेरिएबल्स एंड इफ ऑल द प्रॉपर्टीज आर गिवन दैट कंडीशन इज कॉल्ड स्टेट ऑफ अ सिस्टम I hope you understood what state of a system and state variables actually are. Now let's understand what state function actually is. All those thermodynamic variables whose values depend only on the initial state and the final state but do not depend on the path are called state functions. Let me write the definition. All the thermodynamic variables whose value depend only on initial state only on initial state and final state are called are called state function state function they do not they do not depend on the path they do not depend on the path there are many state variables among them some of the state variables do depend on the path some do not depend on the path those state variables which depend on the path are called path dependent variables and they are not state functions at all and those state variables which do not depend on the path but only depends on the initial state and final state are called path independent variable and they are also called state function or they are also called also called path independent variables path independent variables Let's take an example. The same example that we took earlier. There is water in this beaker, which is maintained at 25 degrees Celsius, and the volume of water is 20 mL, and the atmospheric pressure is 1 atm. Now we heat that water. It convert into vapor now. It convert into vapor now. The temperature of this state, that is final state, is now 100 degrees Celsius. Suppose the volume increase to be 40 mL. and this atmospheric pressure is same over here this is called initial state and this is called the final state that we already know right so here the temperature is increasing from 25 degree celsius to 100 degree celsius we don't care how it increased by which process it increased we only know that it increased what is the temperature of final state 100 degree celsius we do not depend on what was the temperature in this time or that time we don't care with that only initial state and final state matter over here okay similarly the volume how the volume changed we don't care we only care that the volume increased to 40 ml that means the final state has 40 ml of volume right similarly the pressure also same right the pressure depends only on the final initial state and the final state it does not depend on the path followed 
सो दीज आर दी स्टेट फंक्शन सम स्टेट फंक्शन एग्जाम्पल्स आर टेम्परेचर प्रेशर वॉल्यूम जिप्स फ्री एनर्जी जिप्स फ्री एनर्जी हेलमोट्स फ्री एनर्जी हेलमोट्स फ्री एनर्जी इंट्रोपी इंथाल्पी इंट्रोपी एसेक्ट्रा सो दीज आर सम ऑफ द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ स्टेट फंक्शन और सिंपली यू कैन सी दैट देर वैल्यूज डू नॉट डिपेंड ऑन द पाथ दे ओनली डिपेंड ऑन इनिशियल कंडीशन और इनिशियल स्टेट एंड फाइनल स्टेट नाउ वी हैव सीन मस्ट ऑफ द वेरिएबल्स हियर आर स्टेट फंक्शन इज दर दैट मीन ऑल द स्टेट फंक्शन सॉरी ऑल द स्टेट वेरिएबल्स आर स्टेट फंक्शन नो दैट डज नॉट हैपन देर आर सर्टेन वेरिएबल्स दे आर नॉट स्टेट फंक्शन लेट सी दैट the state variables that do depend on the path or simply that are not state functions are heat and work so these are the two state variables that are not state function or simply they are path dependent variable now how does it happen let's see that we know that heat is exchanged between the system and the surrounding in two ways they are reversible they are reversible and irreversible way similarly work is done between the system and the surrounding in reversible way and irreversible way as well so these are the two ways by which this process can be happen now heat exchanged reversibly that is q reversibly is greater than heat exchanged irreversibly similarly work done in reversible process is greater than work done in irreversible process so this is the known condition if you don't know about reversible and irreversible process then please check my previous video i'll put the link in the description you can check from there so reversible process simply is the slow process that means the process happens in infinite condition in finite steps okay in which the driving force is slightly greater than the opposing force and it happens in infinite process and irreversible process happens quickly all the process in the nature are irreversible in nature and reversible process is only an imaginary condition okay but reversible process is greater than that is the heat exchange or work done in reversible process is greater than in reversible process so obviously it depends on the path that means if the work is done or heat is exchanged in reversible process then the value will be more and if the work is done and heat is exchanged in irreversible process then obviously the value will be less that means these variables depend on the path rather than initial and final condition okay they depend on the path that means by which path they are changing so they are not state functions or simply they are path dependent variable so these are heat and work are path dependent variables dependent variables or they are not state functions they are not state functions so this is what state function actually mean let us understand the concept of state function by a even more simpler example i am erasing this portion okay suppose there is a five story building this is a building of five stories 1 2 3 4 and 5 there is a person on the top of the building he is seeing downwards okay now tell me one thing will the height of this building ever change no it is constant okay similarly will the potential energy of this person sitting on the roof ever change no it will not change either because potential energy is given by mg as the mass of the person will remain same acceleration due to gravity at that point remain same and height of the building remain same so these are the state functions state functions 
it do not depend on how the person went up it only depends on the uh, height of the building and that will always remain same right either this person goes there by jumping or climbing or running or by lift or by stairs it does not depend when that person reaches over there the height will always be same and the potential will always potential energy will always be same so these are the state function height and potential energy we can see are state function but let us talk about his work done okay suppose he goes there by a lift will he be tired no obviously not he will not be tired over there that means he does less work over there but suppose the lift of the building is not working now so he has to go by stairs and when he goes there by stairs he has to do a lot of work and he will definitely be tired over there right he has to do a lot of work and he will definitely be tired when he reaches over there so in this particular case what do we see work is dependent okay work depends whether he goes by stairs or lift if he goes by lift he has to do less work if he goes by a stairs then he has to do more work so in this particular case what can what we can say work depends on the path so it is not a state function not a state function so let me rewind one more time the things that we read today we understood what state of a system actually mean that means the condition of a system that is described by certain variables right just like temperature pressure and volume that is called state of a system if we know the given properties or the condition similarly state variable means those variables that define the system temperature pressure volume or entropy enthalpy gibbs free energy helmholtz energy these are all the state variables they change okay when they change not only one variable but other variable also change automatically like we took the example of water being boiled right when the temperature increases the volume also increases and sometimes pressure also increases if we don't keep the pressure constant so state variables are the properties of the state of a system now state function are those state variables which depend only on the initial and the final state and they do not depend on the path followed they are called state functions we have already understood many things about state functions example of state functions are temperature pressure volume helmholtz free energy gibbs free energy similarly entropy enthalpy these are some of the example of state functions or simply path independent variable but on the other hand heat and work are the path dependent variable or simply they are not state function as they do depend on the path because reversible work is greater than irreversible work heat ex uh, heat exchange reversibly is greater than heat exchange rever irreversibly so they do depend on the path and obviously this example over here height do not change potential energy do not change so obviously it is state function but work if that person goes up by the ladder and the uh, sorry stairs and the lift then work done by him is different so it is a state it is not a state function or it is path dependent variable that's all in this video i hope you understood everything about state function state variable and state of a system if you and if you like the video please share this video as much as you can and thank you for watching the video